Now, um, a little word of advice, really, for anyone who either leads worship or who reads the Bible frequently in worship. And um, the pieces of advice for you this morning is this. First of all, if you're on the platform, can I really suggest, seriously suggest, that you don't find the passage before you're up on the platform giving the reading? Here's the reason. We're too tempted to rush into it, to get on with it, and to just not wait for people to be ready. And as you look around your congregation, you'll find that maybe half of them are not looking it up, not because they don't want to, not because they don't want to become more familiar with God's Word, but they don't want to be embarrassed. And so you can afford them just a little bit of extra time if you're the one looking for the passage at the same time. Take some extra discipline on your part because you'll have to know where to look. Um, but that shouldn't put you off and will just be a bit of extra time to help people find the passage. Now, we're in Psalm 2 this morning. So the easiest way to find the Psalms is you look at the pages of your Bible and you put it in half. And if you then open your Bible from that half, you will immediately be in the Psalms. From there, you just need to find the right psalm, of course. And we're looking at Psalm 2 this morning. Another tip, another word of advice is this. There is nothing but nothing more important that you will do on a Sunday morning than read from Scripture. Why it is God's own words? There is nothing that I'm going to share with you this morning in my message that will come even close to the meaningfulness, to the uh, immensity, to the importance of God's own words. You can afford to take your time. Everything else might be on a time agenda. Everything else can brush through, can be nice and breezy. And move. With the scripture, take a breath, slow down, Allow people the luxury and be able to find it. Let them be comfortable. Make them assured that you're in no rush when it comes to God's own words. That's my tip for you. Okay. And it will make all the difference. You might feel slightly ill at ease at first when you do it for the very first time or the first few times because you might think you're being slow. You're not being slow. You're being purposeful and allowing people to engage by opening their Bibles. Encourage them to open their Bibles and to follow exactly where we are. Okay, so Psalm 2. 